All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Going right back into the thick of it. Alright, so last episode we uh, went into Barco's own uh, big house and tried to find him, but we found the uh, plans of the uh, where the uh, gas is being created. And we got the deadly laser pointer again. Drone's reloading. Alright, continue. Use the sniper rifle a bit. I love the sniper rifle. It's probably one of the best sniper rifles in uh, campaign history for Call of Duty. Feels nice. Where did that grenade launcher come from? Anyone else? Keep going up. Ooh, did that guy's head disappear? Ay, ay, ay. Uh, you kind of got to remember that the bullet has quite a bit of travel time. Kind of feels weird. Ooh, this weapon does not have the most ammo. Boom. That's a meaty sound. I like it. There's a lot of freaking enemies here, eh? Lay down a bit. Enemies are actually flanking us. Oh, that's fair. Come on. Don't be a bastard. This is good. Shoot the exploit bearers. What? That didn't even kill him? Hello. General Barkov, he's here. This my story never leaves. All right. Where shall we go? It's always nicer when you can uh, follow someone like Captain Price, just so you know where you're going. <laughs> I like what they've done with this game this far, with the mission structure and all that. But sometimes it feels a little bit too open. Come on. Alright, well. 
What am I supposed to do here? Sit still for a bit. Sit still for a bit. There we go. I know this weapon can be such a laser beaming multiplayer and here it feels like it's kicking a shit ton. What was that? Ding ding ding. Bye. Too lazy. Right. Get in. Checkpoint reach? Nice. Anyone else? Oh, so you got the AK-12 here. I've actually noticed um, it is not in multiplayer. For some reason. I mean, in this case, it literally just looks like an AK. Alright, there's just normal people. Not kill them. Ooh, a scar. I'll take the scar. Scar's probably gonna be a very strong weapon to use here. Made it very hard to see enemies here. Oh, is that guy on fire? This guy is on fire. No worry, I'm not gonna be singing. <laughs> Probably gotta. Ah, uh -uh, there he is. And cover. Oh, really? I was stuck on some geometry. Good move. Ah, oh, well, at least it wasn't bungee geometry. The explosives, all right. I gotta go to the left side here. I'll just run through. Don't you worry. That's one thing that I really wish they would be a little bit more clear on the uh, objectives when they change. Because I thought I had to go up there, you know. Moving up, second level. Eek. Oh, just shoot through. Hello. Shooting me through the balls? That's my technique. I see them. Come on. Get the jelly off my face. Alright, we're good. Got some weapons here. Kilo, got an MP7. We'll go for the kilo. With a sniper scope. <laughs> Might actually be quite nice. For a second, the chair with someone. <laughs> All right, we're good. Did a quick sweep. Oh wow, that zoom is uh, not a lot. I guess it's better than nothing. Alright, get the explosive. And the detonator. D4 explosives. The detonator will start the chain reaction. Don't the furnace, the rest follows. Correct. Don't lose it. Why help us? Barkov is a stain on my country. It will not stand. Spasiba, Nikolai. The okay. See you on the other side. All right, kick it out. Is that an incendiary shotgun? Run. 
Another one? And another one. Yeah, there was an incendiary shogun. Which, uh... Yeah. I will be using that. My incendiary shotgun now. No clue what that did. But I'll take it. We good? Ooh, more ammo? Yeah, give me that ammo. That's a juggernaut. Uh, then I use that. Get out of here. Juggernaut killed someone. Fire, bitch. Nice. You pick up his weapon? Uh, I didn't have a minigun, I think. That bottle looks obviously bright. Uh, or, not obviously, uh, awfully, awfully bright? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Sure gonna help me well there. Mara, we've got a problem. Back up, this is actual. I'll copy. Send traffic actual. Good eyes on General Barkov, I say again. Barkov is moving to the helipad. Echo is approaching the furnace now, actual. Set your charges and move. Roger, Echo out. You heard him. Let's get it done. Oh. <laughs> Think someone needs to sacrifice themselves? On it. I would not take that off. Clear! What happened? Detonator's fucked. It's dead. I'll go in there. It do what? Ignite the furnace. You'll never get away in time. I know what I'm doing. Farah, listen to me. No, you listen to me. Because of this poison, my people have known something worse than war. I did not come this far to turn back. I'm not asking you to turn back. I'm asking you to give me the order. I won't do that. Commander, please. I am not your CO. Then who is? Because someone needs to light this fire and someone needs to kill Barkov. And you can't do both. I've been on assignment my whole life. This is what I believe in. Give me the order. You are a freedom fighter, Alex. You're a born leader, Farah. Say the word. Go. Yes, ma'am. I guess uh, Alex is self-sacrificing. Oh, another blade sniper. Bravo, Echo. Set up the Bar is going for the general. Roger, Echo. Fight into the pipeline now. Set, Sergeant. No ROEs now, our captain. No, no, no. Stolen with that sniper. All right. Got a scar with a biport. Hell yeah. <laughs> you think I'm not gonna be using a minigun? You think wrong. <laughs> oh, I become such a. Give me the chance and overcome a serial killer. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh, why do they give me a minigun? That's the stupidest thing I could have done. Probably gonna get me killed.
low on ammo already. No. <laughs> My minigun. And there it goes. Boom goes the dynamite. Alright, need to go back quickly and uh, get something else. Get my scar back. Bit of a weird bipod. Alright, reach the factory pipelines. Let's go! Move your arm! Keep pushing, Kyle! Get it there! Get 3D insights. Do you follow behind me? I guess so. No, you don't. I'm confused. Follow me, confused. Follow me, possibly dead. There we go. And you're done as well. EKM, I'll take it. Yes, sir. Put it in the back pocket. Alright. At the pipelines. Charges. I don't have any more shots, so... You. Keep stabbing him. Push him out. Russia would approve. Where to? Kazakhstan. Home. Tea? Yeah, well, I'm a long way from a proper pint. Russia disowned Barkov. Well, they didn't have much choice, did they? He's dead. You took a big bite out of that problem, John. For now. We're left unchecked. It won't be. General Shepard pulled the files you asked for. What exactly is this about? A task force. Mm -mm. We already have loose ends. Then I will tie them. I can fund assets, not outlaws. Enjoy the tea, then. Sakaya wants Barkov's throne. 
I almost buried him in Pripyat with Macmillan. That was the father. This is the son, Victor. Lovely family. They're big fans of Hadir's. Well, that would explain why he's still alive. They're gonna get him out. They give me what I need. That's course one for one. <laughs> Who's your crew? Sergeant Garrick. Kyle? They call him Gaz. He never said anything. <laughs> John McTavish, SAS, sniper, demolitions, goes by soap. Why? It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Simon Riley. Ghost. There's no picture. Never. Now the rest. That's neat to know. Unless we got a deal. What are you calling this task force? One four one. Nice. I like that as a little bit of a prequel setup, I guess. And that's the end, so... At least I think that's the end. Alright, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I actually think it was quite a good campaign, in my, at least in my opinion. There was a bit of a shock twist to it, like, um, they really went out in the, uh, war aspect. They didn't dial down any of the gruesome horror that you'd see. Which I think is a good thing, because these days uh, people seem to be getting caught a little bit uh, with some of the stuff. And sometimes I do think they went a little bit too far. Um, that it's not necessary, but I mean, it's a case of like, sometimes you have to push back a little bit. And I think that's what they did with this uh, narrative here. I mean, uh, no Russian had nothing <laughs> against this. Practically the whole campaign was no Russian. To a degree at least. Alright. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the campaign. Let's see if there's anything uh, past this. But I do not think so. I think uh, it should be like episode 11 or 12. There we go. Oh, that's a bit of a callback to the uh, task force uh, picture at the end. Unfortunately, uh, Alex is no longer with us. All right. Fade away, and let's see if that's the end of things. Or is there another thingy? under evacuation. Alcatala's got complete control. This place was nice once. Well, it's not anymore. East and West rebuilt Verdansk after the Cold War. Aki didn't like that cooperation. Now they've got armor. Heavy weapons. Terrorists with tanks. Who's at the helm? Someone new. Nice hit. What's his name? We don't know, but he's got friends in high places. This is Russian intel. Where did we get this? My counterpart in Moscow. The CIA working with the FSB. Not the first time. Kamarov. Captain Price. Nikolai. You've been a bad boy. From you, that's a compliment. Please. We're all friends here. I owed you for Beirut. Sergeant Kamarov is going to help conduct this operation. These new weapons give Alcatellas the power to turn acts of terror into acts of war. That's the problem. For everyone. We're launching a multilateral force to hunt AQ's new leader and contain this threat while we still can. Okay, we're in. Start up your teams. Let's operate. Alright, the story continues in Spec Ops.
So you got some uh, story missions and speckles, but that is going to be the end of the campaign. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next later.